David came ashore as a weak hurricane north of Palm Beach after traveling north along the Florida coast. At landfall, surface pressure was 972 millibars and the winds were 44 meters per second. The Miami radar is in the center of the blanked out region to the left of the image. David did not redevelop a closed eye after weakening over Hispaniola. However, we do see mesoscale bands that rotate completely around the storm center in about two hours. The cyclonic motion of the rain bands coincided with a trochoidal oscillation in the track. Willoughby and Marks have suggested that the movement of the bands is related to the change in storm direction and speed. Dodge tracked reflectivity peaks greater than 35 dBZ in Hurricane David and found that they moved rapidly around the storm center at about 25 to 30 meters per second. Only 2% of those peaks can be traced for 30 minutes or more. Note how the rain bands decay on the landward side of the eye. The dissipation of the echoes may be related to the long trajectory of inflow air over land. It also might be related to stable nighttime conditions in the boundary layer. Several filamentary bands form southeast of the eye and merge as they rotate around the storm to form a principal band on the east of the storm. An interesting hook-like structure develops at the downwind edge of this band. The center of circulation seems to elongate and reform as the system makes the final turn into land. The shapes are intriguing, but the role of the coast in this oscillation is not clear. <laughs>